I'm a mysterious man. They call me Henry Thomas, for reasons you'll find out later in this tale. But names are not important right now. What is important is my drink of choice. It's approximately midnight, and there's a pit in my stomach, waiting to be filled with warm, white liquid from a cow's teat. I stroll into my favorite watering hole and sit down with anticipation. One ghost, I say to the bartender. They nod and head in back. While waiting, I see a flyer hung up with a peculiar pin. Wanted. James Tilder. $25. $25? That's chump change. But I could use some new socks. Mine have holes in them, and my feet get cold through my boots. The milk will have to wait. I get on my Schwinn banana seat bicycle. Not just any banana seat, though. It had black stripes and a custom basket fitted to the front of the handlebars. If I was going to catch this guy, I had to do it fast. I rode to the edge of the quarry, and then to the edge of the woods. The poster said James liked to live on the edge, so I got those bases covered first. After trailing to the edge of the city limits, I saw a warm orange glow in the distance. This must be his hideout, I think to myself. He has to be there. I pedal to the campfire and sit down next to a bearded stranger. Tom, he said. James, I presume? Mm, Jimmy. Got him. This was the guy I've been searching for. Well, this is going to go one way and one way only. It's a full moon, and I've got that bass. James takes off in a full sprint. He knows I'm here for him, and he doesn't want to go easily. Luckily, I brought my handy lasso. Running behind him, and almost out of breath, I chuck my rope. Miss. I chuck it again. Another miss. I'm running out of stamina. So this was my last shot. I throw my rope straight and true. Hit. I have his leg in the lasso, and it's time for him to go down. I drop to the ground with all my weight, and he stops dead in his tracks. Crawling to the man, he pleads with me. Uh, I have a family. Please don't turn me in. Family? You're in the middle of the woods. Come on. Uh, okay. You got me. I tie the rope around his feet, and then his hands. I then lift him onto my back and head to my Schwinn. It's a cold night, so I wrap a blanket around the man before placing him in my basket. Now that I have him, it's time to head back to the bar. On the way back, I take a shortcut through a construction site. It's off the dark, and I think they've made progress since I've last been here. That dozer seems new. Suddenly, the road drops off. James and I are sent speeding down the dirt road and headed for a large ramp. This can't be good. We hit the ramp and take flight, flying over cars and flying over trees. This is a sight James and I have never seen. We land right in front of the bar, and James goes tumbling across the road. I should have strapped him in, but I didn't figure we'd go airborne tonight. I place my bike at the rack and gather James. Bringing him into the bar, I'm given $25 from the bartender. Thank you kindly. Now what about that ghost? <laughs>